You did ask for this, not me, but I'm going to show it. The Guts of the Ender 6 from Creality, the core XY 3D printer, here on Sakri's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Sakari from Sakari 3D Prints, bringing you how to review news and other cool things you can do with 3D printing. With tips, tricks, tutorials, how to review news, anything 3D printing or 3D printer related, you can find right here on this channel. If you're new here and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit the notification button to get the latest news and updates right in your YouTube alerts. And if you want to have an inside scoop before YouTube, please check me on Twitter, Zachary underscore Bergen. And thanks for being here. As several weeks ago, I did a live unboxing of the Creality Ender 6, the Core XY 3D printer from Creality. Well, during this live stream, somebody or multiple people asked me to show the inner parts from the Core XY 3D printer, the Ender 6. We are talking about the bottom part of the Ender 6, where the power supply unit, the main board is, and some wiring. People are interested in these things, so for that reason, I'm going to make a special video about this inner part from, or these inner parts from the Ender 6. Well, it's not so very special, but if you want to have some inside knowledge, what to expect when you are going to buy this Creality Ender 6, then this is a good thing to watch before you buy a Ender 6. Or if you don't want to open a Core XY 3D printer before you know what to expect. Well, for this kind of thing, I did this video, a, I would call it a special vlog kind of video, because I did it on a Sunday afternoon when everybody was away. I flipped the 3D printer on its side because <laughs> this printer was printing almost continuously because it's a very nice machine to work with. Prints are kind of addictive to this printer or I'm quite addicted to the, you know, keep printers printing or else what is a printer without printing? Hmm? So, before I'm going to continue, or well, maybe not, let's show you the things that I recorded and See for yourself how the Ender 6 looks like from the inside. I've got here my Ender 6 from Creality. And one of the things that you are going to notice is that there is no USB connector uh, uh, available. To reach that, you have to flip the 3D printer on its side to get to the bottom plate. So let's do that. Because of those blue corner parts, you can flip it on the side without damaging the acrylic panel. So let's unscrew every screw here on the whole side and then take the bottom plate off. So, and this is the bottom side of the Ender 6. Well, to remove the plate, you have to unscrew eight screws. They are pretty nice. It's decent. You don't work with T nuts. So there are people very happy with this kind of way of attaching the things. Um, so this is the main board, controller board. Uh, it's a, a standard one, as I can see so far. They have adapted it a little bit because this is the place where normally the, the SD card reader was. But uh, here there is a uh, cord that leads to the uh, other SD card reader as well. Next to it, like you can imagine, there is a micro USB connector and that one can be used to update your printer or um, do some other things with it. So in a future video, I'm going to see how I can make use of that USB port. Next to it, you have a um, very colorful uh, rainbow uh, colored uh, uh, flat cable for the LCD screen. And also what I noticed is a very large speaker 
Um, one of the first things that I did when I uh, start using the Ender 6 was uh, putting the volume down a little bit or all the way down because the noise was quite loud. Also here, here you have a, a big radial fan. It's uh, I think it's the uh, 5015. Well, I think it's a bigger one. I'm not familiar with this, this size, but I think maybe 50, 25 or something like that. I don't know. But Creality likes to use the hot glue for um, uh, hot gluing every connector tight so that it do doesn't fall out. Some other things that I did notice was those, uh, those things on the cables. I think that is for noise cancelling. I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, the same thing I see also here with the power supply unit. It's not a meanwhile power supply unit, but it's a 360 watts, 24 volts power supply unit. Very thick cables or wires. Uh, also here some magnets on it to, uh, I think, suppress the uh, or reduce the uh, noise. Um, I'm not sure, from, I'm not familiar with that, but I see them also on other devices. So it's, it's, it's looking great, heavy. Also very nice uh, uh, cable management here, as far as it can go. And talking about which, um, so the USB connector, when you do want to use this, I didn't try it out if, if it is accessible. Uh, somebody said that it might give you an access denied but we we will see in a future video but if you want to use that there are two holes here on uh, on the top right and here on the bottom there are holes where you can put the usb cable through and then um, connect it and route it a decent way also this is a creality version 4.3.1 board um, here, yeah, the, the stepper motors for the X, Y, Z extruder, the cool fins. And then we also, I, I noticed when I was uh, installing it, I saw that there was also a BL touch on the brake board. And I'm looking through the cable and I see some weird things that I never saw before. Because if you have here, for example, we have one wire for the minus Z and stop. And here for the minus X, here is your filament run out detection. But usually you have two connectors, now you have one. I don't know why that is. Maybe they route it with ground. I don't, I'm not sure why they do it like this. Here also something like the power resume function, I guess. So there are some things that I really want to find out how this would work. But I see here also some other cables, fan. So this, this looks very, um, very interesting. Other than that, I don't know what that was. Ghosts. So that is the bottom, the intestines of this Ender 6. I hope you liked it. Um, yeah, in a future video, I'm going to do some more upgrades, but people were asking me, hey, uh, how, how does the, uh, the, the, the how, how does the controller board looks like uh, with the power supply unit from the Ender 6? You know, people want to see some, some insights of uh, these kind of things. I do like them too. Yeah, so I took the opportunity when the printer was not working to flip it on the side and show you the inside. So guys, um, I don't know if you saw my channel before, but I couldn't resist and I hooked my laptop onto the micro USB connector on the board. Um, it's a spare cable that I had laying around, so I used it. So this one is also going to be used because not all micro USB connectors or USB uh, cables are uh, for data transfer. So keep that in mind. If you have one spare, uh, which is having the purpose of data uh, communication, then use that cable and you can install it on your Ender 6. So I have it connected on one of my USB ports and here is running front of face 
and it's at about rate 115200. For me, it's COM4. And this, this is after the command of uh, M503. I got this information for the stepper motors. For the E steps, it's currently 80. 80 uh, 400 140 so it's a standard uh reality thing because uh, on the ender 3 pro i also saw the same kind of values of 80 80 400 so everything is looking nice so i'm going to uh, make sure that i have installed this cable uh, on the spot that i'm going to do so i i'm going to route the usb cable over here and then on, all the way to there and then making sure that i have a extension cord something like that so that i can always hook my ender 6 to a laptop or something like that if i want to do some deeper controlling of my printer so i've routed the cable from here to to the the gap over there like mentioned and i crazy enough i didn't have any zip ties laying around so i use the uh, the clips from the apples and delta printer that i had spare it's always good to not throw everything away so i routed here I used uh, the, 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 the loops to route the cable here. I used a binder wire also to, to keep it there. Very nice. And so now we can cover the bottom up and it's all done. So the inner part from the Creality MS6. The control board with all the, car the cables, the wirings, the the magnets on the cables and the power supply unit. Were you surprised when you saw that all? Or were there some things that you already expected to see? Well, of course, a power supply unit, it's a basic thing on a 3D printer. Also a controller board and the wirings. But in this case, every controller board has a SD card and also a micro uh, USB and an or a normal USB connector. In this case, for the Creality and the 6, I made took the opportunity to install a cable so to extend the wire from the controller board to a much more easier place to, you know, if I want to upgrade something or if I want to flash a new firmware on it or do some other things then this USB cable is very handy and the only thing that I really need is to extend the cable just a little bit more and then hook it to my laptop or maybe a PC in your case or maybe hook it on a Raspberry Pi to run Octoprint on your Ender 6. So with that being said the possibilities are getting more endless and more convenient. So in future videos, I'm going to do some more things to this Creality Ender 6. But the next upcoming video, I hope to bring out a full review or a review about the Creality Ender 6. This video was to show you the inner parts, what to expect when you are buying this Creality Ender 6. If you want to buy this 3D printer as well, I will put the affiliate link in the description of this video. It will support my channel when you buy this 3D printer from Creality. So to wrap up this video, if you want to have some inside knowledge about the Creality Ender 6, well, here you got it. The power supply unit, the controller board, and also a little modification to this brand new 3D printer that I have on my channel. Soon there will be a review about this machine but that I will leave for a other video. This video is supported by these Patreon supporters, Tony, Shannon, Loyal Moses and Michael. Thank you for your awesome support. You can also support this channel by clicking the Patreon link in the description of this video. If you're still watching this video, thank you, you are amazing. On the end card, there are some recommended videos worth watching. And while you're there, check out the merch in the merch store, because there is also a very nice hoodie, which is very warm as well. 
And during the winter, something like this is very handy to have. I'm sitting here basically every day with my hoodie on. Well, or hoodie off. But hey, so you can also get one of these. Check the link in the description of this video or maybe check some other links out somewhere. And hey, please like this video, share this video with other people on social media, with friends, family, I don't know. And hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D prints. Bye bye. The other video. So, this channel, this channel, no, this video is.